brass players. Today I'm going to go over our first brass lesson. Uh, you will need your paper from me that you had for homework. I'm putting it on my music stand right here. And you're going to need your mouthpiece. But as a quick reminder, when you're getting your mouthpiece out, remember to open your case the right way. The latches and the label should be facing up and facing you. Please don't open your case on your lap, especially trumpet players. I've seen many cases just fall to the ground. So either put it on a table, the bed, or the floor is great. And then undo your latches and take out your mouthpiece and then close your case. You don't need it, okay? We're only using the mouthpiece. I'm gonna be using a combination of a trumpet mouthpiece and a trombone baritone mouthpiece. Um, you're gonna just follow along with whatever you are playing because all the brass instruments start the same. So, getting ready in posture. Make sure that we are sitting up, our feet are on the floor, we wanna use enough air. We get a good breath of air by sitting up and having ourselves open and ready to breathe, okay? Uh, embouchure, how we make sound. So you have a picture on your paper um, and we wanna make sure that our mouthpiece is in the center of our lips, here, here. We're gonna breathe through our mouth and then kind of tighten our lips to get the buzz that we worked on in our lesson. So let's do a nice, long, smooth buzz. Here we go. I lick my lips a little bit too, sometimes that helps. One, two, long buzz, go. All right, I'm gonna switch my mouthpiece, but let's do another one. Here we go. This will be a lower buzz for some of you. One, two, ready, go. All right, so now I'm gonna look at the things to try box on your paper. First thing is playing long, smooth buzzing sounds. So let's do three. So we're gonna do one long buzz. Here we go. One, two, long buzz, go. All right, let's do another one. Reminder to keep your cheeks um, nice and tight. We don't wanna puff our cheeks like this. That's kind of showing like a lack of control. If you're doing that or you're unsure about that, check out a mirror, okay? I can happen to see myself in my video, so I'm not doing it. Um, but you can easily, if you notice your cheeks are puffing, play your note and then see if you can work them back in. That's usually what pe helps people to figure it out. So if I've got my cheek puffed, not only did my sound go a little bit higher, it was kind of more focused and clear, and that's what we really want. We don't want these cheeks puffing out that's a little out of control. Um, so let's do our second long buzz. Here we go. One, two, long buzz, go. All right, let's do a third one. No cheeks puffing. One, two, tight corners of your mouth. Ready, go. Anytime we play these long buzzes, we are building muscle. All these tiny muscles, which have never worked out like this before, are working out now, and they're gonna get tired, um, but that's good. We wanna, they have to get tired so they can get stronger. All right, different ta and ti ti patterns. Let's see, let's do ta, ta, ti ti ta. Here we go, one, two, ready, go. Let's do ta, ta, two. Ready, go. There you go. And you can make up your own. So we talked about doing fast buzzing and slow buzzing and tight and loose. Um, the fast buzz is in the fast buzz and tighter lips is going to make a high note. So let's try that. So we want to set it up. Tight corners, fast buzz. Tighten those lips up. One, two, fast air, go. Very nice. You want to try to make sure you can hear that it was higher than maybe you were buzzing before. Let's do it again. Still a quality buzz, still nice tight corners and no cheeks puffing. One, two, fast air, go. Good. I'm gonna do it on the bigger mouthpiece. One more, tight lips, fast air. One, two, ready, go. All right, now let's do the opposite. So looser lips, relaxed air. It's kind of a nice easy buzz. Here we go. One, two, ready, 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 go. One, two
to lower buzz, go. Now you don't want to make it so low and loose that nothing comes out, so you have to find the balance, okay? So make sure it's not too low and loose. Here we go, let's do another low one. One, two, ready, go. All right, so remember, high is fast air, tight lips, low is uh, looser lips and slower air, okay? All right, so now we need to combine them to do a siren. This is what's gonna give you more flexibility as we learn new notes that are higher and lower. When we see a higher note, we need to make a change quickly. So this siren is gonna help you. So we're gonna go from low to high. It's gonna sound like this. Let's try it. So I'm going loose, tight, loose. One, two, siren, go. Very nice. On the bigger mouthpiece, you might only be able to do one siren without breathing. We're going to try two sirens in a row, though, which should be doable on the, the smaller mouthpiece and maybe on the bigger mouthpiece if you're really controlling your air. So two sirens. One, two, ready, go. Good. You need to make a change with your lips and your air. You have to use faster air. Okay, let's do it one more time. One, Two, ready, go. All right, so keep working on that. That is really useful um, for starting to learn new notes higher and lower. Um, next is prepare for the longest note competition by timing how long you can hold a buzz. So I'm not gonna do that with you right now, but let's do a 10 second buzz. Here we go. One, two, control your air, conserve your air. One, two, ready, buzz. If you made it 10 seconds, that's pretty good, especially on the bigger mouthpiece. You should be able to make that maybe on a trumpet mouthpiece, I think. All right, step four on your paper for homework is ta and tt patterns. We're gonna play the first one. Ta, ta, tt, ta, ta. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Good, the next one is t t t t ta, ta. When you have a tt, you gotta get that air moving. Okay, here we go. T, 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 next one, go. All right, and then the third one is ta, ta, rest, ta. So there's a rest in there, be careful. Here we go. One, two, third one, go. All right, so you can practice those. Um, you can make up your own uh, if you want to. That's great. All right, at the bottom of your paper, you need to write down your practicing. If you watched this lesson and played along with me, then that is a day of practice. Check it off, okay? So you can check off the bottom down here. And then at the end of the week, you want your parents to sign it before you bring this back to school for your next lesson. Um, your goal is to practice five to seven times this week. It should only take you about seven or eight minutes. That's about how long this video is shouldn't be any more than that and it should be very easy to start off all we're doing is building muscle okay um so remember to get it signed and bring it back to school and best of luck as you start with your new brass playing <laughs> see you at your lesson